today is the seven inch. We are still talking about how to make Nigeria great again. I took time to study the way some of us Nigerians behave towards those appointed into places of authority. Do you know what I noticed? I noticed that once people are placed into place of authority, friends and family members begin to rejoice and begin to tender their needs to such people. Of recent, somebody visited me and while we were talking, he said, Sir, if you know the amount of students that I buy school bags, school sandals for, in our family. I asked him why. He said, sir, the moment I was appointed a mogaji, now that title of a mogaji in Yoruba land is like family head. He said, the moment I was appointed, family members started sending notes of their needs to me. We want corruption to stop, but we seem to forget that the people appointed into positions of leadership in our country should not be given too much burdens. Now, if he pays your school fees, pays the school fee of the other person, buys his bag for this one, pays your hospital bill, now there is no time he will not steal. That's why I'll keep saying for us to conquer corruption every nigerian must understand one thing leave your size part time now give back to the number of children that you can afford stop calling for things that will make you to depend on the income of others to get running now, ask most politicians, they will tell you the amount of bills placed on our head is just too much. Or oh, from so so and so place, they came demanding for this. From so so and so place, they came demanding for that. For Nigeria to rise again, we must stop this. Even I am a pastor. At times, you see people come to me, sir, I have this need. As though the offerings being gathered in church belong to me. Now you will see them sit around asking for transport money. Some will say feeding money. Some will say hospital bill. Some will say we have not eaten and several bills like that. In fact, there was a time I decided I instructed the person in charge of finance in our church to meet most of the bills. Do you know that? It got to a point we had nothing else left to meet the important needs of the church. For Nigeria to rise again, carry your problem. Let me carry mine. For Nigeria to rise again, allow our politicians to concentrate. For Nigeria to rise again, allow those that we have given the right to lead us to concentrate now do you know that if we allow them to concentrate without us putting our body on them then we'll have the boldness to question them if they do not do what we appointed them or voted for them to do this corruption must stop it is killing our nation this corruption must stop it has not allowed our nation to prosper. Let me tell you a brief story. I was with this man. I won't mention his real name. Let me use Olumide as his real name. Mr. Olumide, a contractor. Now, he went for this particular job. They applied for it. They called him that he wants the contract. Now, let me just use the figure that is not the real one. Let's just assume 900 million. We celebrated him. As he got to the place to receive the job, those in charge said, we are not going to pay you the whole 90 million. Yes, you've won this contract, but we can give it to somebody else. We are only going to pay 600 million. He said, ha, how will I do this job 
with this 600 million you know what they said who asked you to do the job or who even asked you to do a perfect job now he agreed to collect the 600 million then they said the style in this sector is that we pay 50 percent then when the job is done we pay the balance you know what the man said he said there is no how i will successfully and effectively do this job until i get the full fee but when they threatened to let him lose the job he agreed he collected the money did the little he can collected the, his balance and after a while they needed somebody else to still do the job listen for nigeria to be great again i'm saying this carry your problem stop creating the problem that you cannot carry alone stop creating the problem that you will need other people to help you to carry now if we all understand this i love this about the white men they will tell you i have my problem i won't bug you with my and i won't want you to bug me with yours i believe nigeria will rise again so for nigeria to rise again let's hold on to this principle stop bringing your bills to those who have appointed into position of authority i think the pledge i pledge to nigeria my country to be faithful loyal and honest to serve nigeria with all my strength to defend our unity and uphold our honor and glory so help me god